We got a dark hallway in the back. It goes to my dungeon. Oh good, I wanted more loading screens in my house. So now I have two rooms. Two very well furnished rooms. We're gonna need a lot more resources. And the best way to get those is gonna be from other islands. But that's gonna add up pretty quickly at 2,000 miles per ticket. Luckily for me, I have all these flowers I can be watering. I mean, it's probably worth it. In another 50, I'll probably get a reward of 2,000 miles. The downside to that is my watering can doesn't last very long at all. So we're gonna go through a lot of wood. Luckily, that is one of the things I can get on the islands when I'm there. My reward for all that watering, 1,000 miles. Not quite as many as I'd hoped for. And I gotta water another 400 to those so we're gonna take a little break for now because i'm pretty sure i have 400 flowers i can water i just really don't want to now we just hope for a rare island covered in tarantulas one thing this one island does have is a lot of emperor butterflies i don't know how valuable they are but i'm sure they're fairly look at them all they're everywhere hope these are worth something and a trick that many people in the comments told me about dig two holes beside a rock then hit that rock with your shovel eight times in a row very quickly. As long as your hunger meter isn't up till 10, the rock won't break and you can find tons of iron. There's five pieces right there. That's a lot of what I need. It's not professional help, but it's as close as I'm gonna get. Four irons from my next rock and one from the next one because it's a dud. And we don't even need to talk about what happened with this one. I'm understanding these might be quite valuable, so I'm gonna catch as many of them as I possibly can. I really hope this was actually worth it, but they probably love garbage on this island anyway. So what are 27 monarch butterflies worth? Did I say monarch? I'm an emperor. 108,000 bells. So just like that, we're richer than we were yesterday before a little flower investment. So that's a pretty good start. But now to find out if all of the islands are like that. And this island is a little bit less exciting. I was going to say that there's not even a weirdo wandering around, but that would be incorrect. As boring as this island was, after hitting this rock with a shovel, I've got the ore I need for a shop. Please build me a shop and never ask for anything again. But let's try it again. There's got to be some cool stuff on some of these islands. I just realized he's not actually typing. He can't reach a computer. I hope he's not the one flying the plane. This island seems to have pear trees on it. And uh, not really much else, so I'm already bored. And let's do one more island. So far, I just see a lot of rocks. Wait a sec. I just saw many tarantulas scurry away, so I gotta go make a net and then get back to those guys. I think the trick for this island is gonna be to not get bitten by tarantulas. There's at least two on this island so far. Got him. They're definitely hard to see, but there's actually three of them right now that I can see. I've just gotta be very careful how I do it. Oh, never mind. If you miss by an inch, they'll still get you. Oh, but I only start back here. I thought they were gonna have to take me back. Well, since that's the case, I'll just take a little bit more of an aggressive approach. This is gonna work way better anyway. Uh-oh. One of my feet might be a bit of a problem. Can we run away? Nope. This guy's probably wondering what's wrong with me. Passing out again and again and again. The secret to catching them is actually waiting until there's one that's so far away from the others, they're not immediately gonna charge you as soon as that happens. One at a time, very patiently. You think this is enough tarantulas? Probably gonna make some profit on this one. It's just a shame I don't have more room in my inventory to catch the rest of these. At any one time, there's three, four, five tarantulas on this island just waiting to be plucked. But I can't really afford to drop anything else. So a single visit to Tarantula Island has yielded me $124,000. So that puts us up to almost $350,000 already, just because of those two island visits. They even let me pick the location of the shop, which is gonna be right here where I normally buy stuff, because that's easy to remember. And then, uh... I guess it's just back to the waiting game, my favorite. A short day later and I think my flowers are done. Are they? No, they might be almost done. I think we can have one more day on these, but they're starting to look pretty good. At least, oh, never mind. We have an idiot. He ran all the way over here to tell me about emotions and reactions. Here's a reaction. And this must be my new shop. It even comes with a hedgehog. How much for that thing? So far, it's a little underwhelming. I just look at all the garbage while they wander around and stare at me very closely. And then they have more of the same usual recipes, but with extra flower varieties. So, uh... That was worth my investment. Wasn't there a person here yesterday? And we have whatever this is now. A turnip dealer? Maybe I can actually plant something worthwhile now. He's selling turnips and I think I might have to buy like a lot. And this idiot has promised three people homes on the island. He's not prepared to do that so he's gonna look even stupider than he is. But he just wants me to do all the work so that's fine. So do we think that $350,000 is too much for turnips? 2,900 turnips. Do we have enough room on the island to plant that? Let's start with 1,000 turnips. That's only gonna cost $110,000 and see if we even have room for that. If we do, great. Wait, do I not even plant these? Do I just wait for them to change value? If that's the case, I'll go buy a bunch more. Another 1,900 turnips. Before doing my research, yeah, give me all of them. Doesn't really leave me a lot of room for doing other things though, does it? And wouldn't you know it, on Sundays, the day you buy the turnips, they won't buy the turnips. 
so I have to wait. I don't think we have a choice at this point. I can't really do anything else until I unload these turnips, so I'm doing some time traveling. Hey, look, the dead guy's back. Now the flowers are done. One day later, they look pretty good. I'm gonna leave them here for now, mostly because I don't want to pick them all. So I'm pretty sure I was buying those turnips for $110 per 10, so that should be 11 per turnip. And he's apparently buying for 74 per turnip. Am I understanding this correctly? Because that's a huge profit already. All right, after reading up on it, he simply means the same price for the same amount. So 74 compared to the 110 I paid for them is a pretty big loss. So we're gonna try it again tomorrow and then the next day until we make money. And it's even worse at a hilarious 69 bells per turnip. We've got our first rainy day. So obviously that means turnip prices are gonna be through the roof. And ooh, no time for you. I've got turnips to do. The price is getting worse every day. I think they're working with the turnip lady. They're just gonna buy them for me for half the price and sell them right back to her and make me buy them again. Did any of my flowers do anything fun? It doesn't really look like it, does it? Look at that. We finally made a profit. 19 bells per turnip. Given the amount of turnips we have, that's actually a pretty decent profit. And no one ever went broke taking profit. So we just turned 345,000 into 374,000 bells. I just need to keep an eye on turnip prices every day now to see how high it can actually go. And since I'm completely directionless because I don't want to help the other islanders, let's go explore a new island. Hopefully we get something exciting. We could probably look at the museum too. It's been done for a while. I put my exhibit out front because I'm going to make my own museum to rival this one. This is quite a museum for like an abandoned island. Are you awake? Hello, sir. And he'll finally take more than one donation at a time. You know what? This would actually look pretty good if I could find the fish. But that's going to take a lot of effort. And right now, I'm not really in a fishing mood. Still working on that house loan, by the way. All right, caffeinated bird, we're going flying. It looks like we got another island of pears. And really, mostly just an island of pears. So this maybe really wasn't worth the 2,000 miles I spent on it. Hey, stupid, take me home now. Well, since I don't really feel like building other people their houses or buying any clothes. I might as well just make even more money with the turnip dealer. And they're even cheaper today. 94 bells each as opposed to 110 last time. Given the price, I could buy 2,800 turnips currently. If I throw them on the ground, will they stay there or are they gonna disappear? I noticed my bamboo shoots here and so is this weed I pulled up like weeks ago. So maybe I'll be able to do that. I mean, the worst that could happen is I'll just lose hundreds of thousands of dollars. Just a typical day for me on the island. And there we are, $400,000 spent on turnips. Let's hope we find some profit. Might have had a small miscalculation when it came to my turnips. Apparently the game doesn't like if you go back in time then forward in time. It doesn't really know what to do, so it killed all of my turnips. And it seems no amount of time traveling is going to fix my turnip problem. But I guess that's what I get for trying to cheat. So anyone out there who would like to employ a similar strategy, make sure you don't go back in time at all if you're using the turnip thing. I'll be honest with you, guys these turnips aren't the freshest but they're probably still worth their full price i mean the fact that they'll give me anything for them i'll take right now because that's all the money i have and wouldn't you know it the price for turnips today is 120 bells so we would have made 33 percent profit on that so instead of being broke we would be up to 530,000 bells might again be just a little while before i can pay for that house luckily for me i did very wisely make a hundred thousand dollar flower investment a while back so maybe we'll start to take some of that money i mean even if they're not worth a lot there's so many of them that's gotta add up to something or maybe this will just be a huge waste of time well my pockets are full but i got about half of them picked so let's go find out the value of roughly half a massive 10,000 bells i could make more fishing if i found two tarantulas i would make almost double the value Value. So the entire thing would be worth about 20,000 bells. That was one fifth of my initial investment of buying all the seeds. I was kind of hoping for a lot more than that. That way I could start to make some money again. Finally have something worth making. Now I can do whatever I want and people won't know who it is. I just spent the very last of my nook miles on a ticket to another island. Hopefully this one's going to be another valuable one. Other than that, I'm actually going to have to work for my money and I really don't want to do that. Well, it's another fine island, but definitely not one of immense value. That's probably because I used up all my luck earlier finding the other valuable islands. But a message bottle with a recipe, now we're in luck. I can make a cardboard bed. Just what a leafy weirdo always wanted. I've learned that you actually gain interest from your bank if your money's in the bank. And since I have the power to control time, this could work to my advantage. So we're going to start with the modest 20,000 bells. Boy, 60 years really takes it nope never mind we're good again but yeah it's been 60 years so hopefully the bank has earned me some money bank of nook is the only mail i care about you earned a uh, hundred thousand dollars in interest well that was easy plus a bunch of letters from mom and stuff but nothing important obviously so there we go it's that easy now i've just got to do that like 10 times and i'll finally have the million dollars i've been wanting this whole time are you still here it's been like 800 years i was hoping we'd have a replacement by now or better yet no one at all. And there it is. We finally did it. We cheated pretty badly, but we did it. $1,019,000. All in a game where money seems largely irrelevant.
And I should check this box more often. Look at all the iron that's in here. But then again, it has been like 600 years legitimately, so that might not be the case. Well, it's probably about time we pay off this house before I lose all my money again. Not sure if that means anything at all to the progress of the game, but you would think it might. A bigger house, you say? For only $200,000, I'm in. So, is that a roach? I got bugs in my house. So that's an improvement. It's also quite a bit bigger, so I can store my switch, bed, lantern, radio, and box. Pretty good furniture. I'd say I'm a minimalist, but I'm just lazy. The house is great and all, but could I maybe have one with more than one room? A bathroom would be nice. So we'll spend 200,000 on this. Oh, he can finally offer me a two room house. This time it's only $350,000, absolutely. And our new house is done, though it looks pretty much the same from the outside. Hopefully the inside is bigger. If I don't have more than one room, thank you. We got a dark hallway in the back. It goes to my dungeon. Oh good, I wanted more loading screens in my house. So. Now I have two rooms. Two very well furnished rooms. And I work so hard for all this money. 548,000 bells, where am I supposed to get that kind of money? Still no changes on the outside? We have a window on the left, that might be new. Because we have a room on the left. Let me guess, loading screen, then empty box. Must be some kind of psychic. Well, as much as I'd like to keep adding on rooms to the house, I've got to move on to other projects. Well, I still managed to make a million bells despite my setbacks. Did someone in the comments let me know what I'm supposed to be doing next? I feel like I'm just bringing people to the island and collecting basic resources to build some houses. Is that what I'm doing? 